Hi ho, everybody. <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's the dynamic duo uh, sitting in the dining room. Yes, here we are again. Oh, we're just looking forward to today's show so much because. We are? Um, yeah, I am. I oh, can't yeah, wait. We, we're looking forward to You remember to last it. week we discovered that uh, Sister Tootsie had been uh, kidnapped or um, hijacked mm -hmm. to Cuba. Mm -hmm. And they sent us a couple of recipes, so we're going to be doing two Cuban recipes. Larry. You know, uh, the Cook Sisters always used to give our uh, hints. Yeah. And so a lot of people have been asking me, mm. they've been coming up to me and saying, hey boy, <laughs> could you possibly tell us how to cook a pumpkin? And so I thought maybe you could tell everybody oh, how to cook a geez. pumpkin. <laughs> I can't believe he'd do this to me. <laughs> Both of us have just gone through the misery, independent of each other, of cutting up the biggest, I had a pumpkin I know was that big, and I, w I wish you'd have been to my house Saturday night and see me wrestling that thing around. <laughs> One point it got away from me and flew across the floor, and cats went running in all the way. Most incredible. Don't, let me tell you, it's it's easier now, to buy the canned stuff. Don't mess with those pumpkins. You have to cook, cut them up into pieces, right. then boil them until they're tender. Well, you tender. take the seeds out. Yeah, take now, the seeds out. there's a lot of out. fools out there that wouldn't know that. Well, you, you know, take the seeds I know out. there's a lot of you watching this show, a lot of fools watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to tell you, once you cut the thing in half, get those seeds and all that stringy stuff out of there, and then you cut it up. And I took your advice. Instead of taking the outside uh -huh. of it off first, yeah. I just chopped it up into big hunks and put it in a great big uh, roaster. roaster and boiled it up until it got real tender. And then I drained all that water off, and then I took the, the, the stuff, meat off, meat in, off into the uh, food into processor. Food grinder or, or and, whatever. And pureed it and then cooked it for about three days to get all the water. <laughs> I out. didn't have to. I only cooked mine for about two or three hours. Mine was real meaty and well, it was mine not water. turned out real well. His was real watery. I saw it. It was all I had a pumpkin real this bad. big and reduced it to nine cups of uh, pulp. I think I went something like, and I figure I had enough for about 25 pies, uh -huh. which will be the greatest to plenty. People will be sick of them by the end of the year. Absolutely. Hey, so let's, anyway. let's do our Cubano recipes. Did so you notice that they have the written cleverly yeah. the name Hi, Jack. of the Hi, program Jinx. back here on the, <laughs> on the board? We're getting so fancy down here cooking cheap this oh, year. I'll be glad when they get the new filtration system in and get this water cleared this up. This water is right bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just nasty. We continue drinking it despite that, anyway. Now, well, we got uh, a lot of stuff going over yeah, here. Yeah, I'm going to do a dish called uh, Ropa Vieja. Well, that's easy for you to uh, say. Old clothes. Old clothes? That's what it is. Now, I'm starting with a thing of green onions. Well, I notice you have a veritable carnicopia of um, all kinds of vegetables over there. Mm -hmm. And, and look, boys and girls, knives that work this year. An entire bunch of green onions. And you're going to cut them up into about three quarters of an inch pieces, inch pieces. This doesn't have to be pretty. These onions were pre-washed for those of you that are out there. And there are so many of you that are health fanatics and clean fanatics that have got to have everything washed. And uh, that's the green onion. So there's a bunch of green onions. And we're going to slice a carrot. Yow! I saw and a cook do that one time on television. That's it. One armed one now that's uh, on, <laughs> that you see so much. Now, of. and this carrot does not have to be scraped because this Ooh. is a pot vegetable. Uh, Did you wash it real well? Yeah. Well, they don't look very clean, lately. Well, they, that's as clean as it can be. Oh. You can't get it no cleaner. Okay. All right. And this is a turnip. And no I'm going to dice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how things turn up. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. And they just need to be uh, cubed. They don't have to be finely. Again, it's just we're looking for the flavor, not beauty, on this part of the dish. By the way, I'm sorry for being all dressed up today. I know it kind of ruins our program to have. Oh, why me are all you wearing up. my apron? Because well, it isn't. It's my apron. It, it says, says Laban Johnson. <laughs> well, upside you down, it looks like Larry Bly. Uh huh. Well, I don't. Can't know. tell his name. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm all dressed up with somewhere to go. I have to go somewhere after the program today, so well, I that's too. why I'm all dressed up. I, just I, I think I'm going to the same place. Yes, we are. We're going to end go, up in the same place. I'll go together. dress up before I go there. I'm going to loosen right, this now, tie a little bit here. It's kind of hot on the old kitchen. Now, there is all of those pot vegetables, and this is two and a half pounds of flank steak. Frank who? Flank Oh, flank. Steak. Yeah. Right. And they go into the pot, too, and 
these uh, come these come off the flank of the <laughs> steer, and uh, these are the kind that eventually, if you were going to broil them, have to be cut like this across the grain. Except we're not we're going to boil them. And well, I've never known you go with the grain on anything. <laughs> now, so that's you you cover that with water and you cook it for an hour and a half or two hours, and this is what it's going to look like in just a, after it's cooked. And this is why this dish is called old clothes, because you, you you pull it all apart. Look at that. Isn't that a mess? Well, long. Look at that. It's it's just all shredded and tangled up. It just doesn't look like anything anyone would want to eat. And that's the ropas viejas. And then we're going to cook a wonderful sauce to put all of this in. But while we're doing this, Larry is going to do another Cuban dish called the Moros y Cristianos. Moros y Cristianos. Oh, you just said that. That's okay. That. The only reason I repeated it is because it's the first time <laughs> I've been able to say it all day. This is a very interesting dish. It's a bean and rice dish. And what I'm doing right now, as any individual with relative intelligence could see, is chopping up an ordinary onion. And I put just a little bit of oil on the burner, and I hope that I haven't cut it off. They told him to no, shove okay. more on, on <laughs> the, the burner. burner. And we're going to take that, put a little oil, and start sauteing. They always love it here at the old TV studio, and we start frying up the onions and the garlic. Oh, yes, and I need a clove of garlic. Now, it's here somewhere. Well, I've got plenty over here if you need it. Uh, a clove of garlic. I brought some from home because I didn't trust that ours. You know, we go so long in between programs sometimes that all of our stuff goes bad on us. And it's just terrible when you get in here and you start cooking and you discover that everything is gone. Everything. Everything. Remember that secretary we had? She's gone. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, Not the, worth a what? Let's see. Then who? Uh, there was there's some other people that aren't here this year that used to be. <laughs> there was that other one. What was her name? She's gone. Now we got to mince up this this little clove of garlic, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pound it a little bit, like so. All right. I'm going to stick that in there. Separate it out just a little bit. This is always so exciting. This is always so exciting when we're. Frying onions on the program, I always think. Uh, just well, you know, full of are, exhilaration. There are a lot happen. of college kids yeah. out there that can't do oh. it. <laughs> well, that was a good finger. <laughs> Did you burn some? Oh, yeah, and the pepper. i got to put the pepper in there. You need a small pepper. I would say that's a large pepper, so I'm going to use about half of it, three-quarters of it. I didn't burn myself. He threw that stuff in there and oh, threw it all over. I am so sorry. I wouldn't have done that for the world. Oh, of course you would if have. If I had known it, I would have I would have avoided at any cost. Uh huh. Well, I don't want to lose I you. I just took a little insides of, your... of it out there, as you can see, and now I'm just going to go back here and get rid of it. The seeds, I mean. What is it you're doing now, Johnson? Well, I'm uh, doing the same thing you are, essentially. I'm <laughs> That's pretty chopping boring. up uh, a large onion, and I'm going to saute it over here with uh, some peppers and stuff with a big green pepper and a and a hot pepper I can't believe we actually have knives that work this I year. I know it's so much fun. We got uh, totally put out this year and went out and bought all new stuff because the old stuff was ruined if it was here at all. You know that gang in the front uh, used a lot of our knives. Oh. <laughs> no. I believe on that secretary. <laughs> no, not really. No. They're a good, right lively group out there. They take quite a bit off of us. I'm just going to chop that up a little bit. And we're going to put that in there and just saute it with the onions. I should have had this stuff done, but I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I got here one minute before air time. I'm doing the best I can. And if that's not good enough, watch Julia Child. Well, uh, I don't believe I'd have said that if I were you. <laughs> well, I said it, and I don't care. Well, you know she's a good friend of ours. You know, we had Julia over just the other night. Remember how nice she was? Uh -huh. She was real good until she got loose. <laughs>
<laughs> she got one. I'm going to move this over here. All right. I didn't want to do that to you guys without you knowing about it. I'm going to put that in there, too, and so I'll tell you that. You know, I thought it was such a scream when she got up. And, and you know that piano woman that is always on her show nowadays? You know, mm -hmm. the place piano in the back? And she was singing Memories of You. <laughs> I thought that was just incredible. Now, in a little while, we're going to add some black baked beans, pre-baked black beans. And I didn't pre-bake them. I just pre-bought them. <laughs> Went out to the supermarket and got them. Not so long. I've put a little salt. They're and pepper supposed on to be leftovers. They're know. supposed to be leftovers. You were supposed to have a meal with them last night. Well, I didn't. I had spaghetti, which oh. didn't go with this meal at all. So anyway, did you make your own sauce to that, or I did you certainly just use did. the chef Boyardee? No, you? indeed. I used my own sauce. A little bit later on, we're going to serve this mess with either. Uh, you can either serve it with fried eggs. And I didn't feel like messing with that today, and I thought it'd be more fun to have these, what are these called, plantains? Uh-huh. These banana-looking things. They look like a banana didn't quite make it. <laughs> Either that, they look like a Chiquita with a gland problem. <laughs> but I'm not sure which. We're going to fry those up in a little bit. We were told by one of our staff members before we went on, we were supposed to boil it first, get all the bitterness out of it. Well, I don't know. Maybe some of our viewers can let us know about that. But uh, I'm not. Well, I know you do that with, with eggplants. You know, you put the salt all over to draw all that nastiness out of it. You just want to be on the show. This camera person over here has been causing problems since day one. She's been bucking to get on the program. She is right knowledgeable, though, and I don't mean to be thrown off on her. Hmm. You should, you should hear him talk about you. Well, yeah, as long as Johnson's not doing anything, say, let me tell oh, you what I'm else just, we got to do. Yeah, go ahead. We got to take two tomatoes, and we have to seed them and chop them. And we discovered a long time ago that the simplest thing to do for seeding is to just cut them in half and squish them. And all that pulp comes right out of there. All the seeds come out, and it's just gorgeous. That's a good way to get it out of there, see? Watch, watch this on a snappy rerun here on our, there we go, see? It's very nice. Then all you have to do is just chop it up. The heck with all that work. Takes those seeds right out of there, it's amazing. It also squirts all over the kitchen. <laughs> but thank heavens I don't have to clean it. I walk away from it when it's over. You know, that does cause a lot of problems here. Uh-huh, I know. There, there are some people that get real huffy about it. They've been fighting over that ever since the day we went on the air six years ago. Who's going to clean the mess up? Well, how are you coming, Johnson? Well, I'm just fine. I've got, my hot, I've got a hot pepper in here, a green bell pepper, and a large onion, and I'm sauteing them in two tablespoons of oil until they get real tender. They don't brown. They just have to get tender. And while I'm doing that, I'm chopping up what should be two large tomatoes, but I couldn't find two large ones, so I'm, I'm doing uh, three medium-sized ones. You just have to kind of use your best judgment here. And, uh, boy, I just can't get over these knives. It's so unusual having sharp knives on this show. Do you know some lady sent us a pair through the mail this summer? She felt so sorry for uh -huh. us? Uh-huh. I'm not even sure that's legal. What, send a knife through send the Send a mail? knives through oh, the I don't know. Either that or she was hoping that we put ourselves out of our misery once and for all here on the program. Oh, I forgot to put the garlic in. Oh, he's done for, starting to forget the recipes already. But I'm going to take these two tomatoes now and put them in here because this stuff is getting right far gone. We need to get the tomatoes in there, and I'm going to add uh, two cups of black beans. <laughs> That's approximately two cups, believe me. That was me busting the garlic. Was that you? Mm -hmm. Now, I got to add some water to this. Two cups, I forgot the water. I got to add some water to this. Do you have some? No. About two cups. 
one cup. And the reason you got to do that is because we're going to add some rice to it here in a little bit, and the rice is going to go in raw, so it's got to steam. Well, Lord, I've run out of room. I believe we needed a bigger pan. <laughs> Not to fear, we're going to come through this okay, we always do. Now we'll just kind of mix that around in there a little bit. I sure hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, well, I'm adding my tomatoes curly, to mine. Pepper, now. tomato, salt and pepper, cooked black beans, raw, okay, a cup of raw rice is going to be added to that. And then you're just going to cook it for a while, simmer over low heat until the rice is tender. Well, this thing has been hermetically sealed for all time. <laughs> I can't get the bag off. Go bite into it and watch it pop. Just explode. Well, what's wrong? I mean, you, you are having a terrible tr time. Doesn't open. I just want to knife it open? How could they make plastic so tough? It's just amazing. About a cup of it. I think my power is failing over here. This thing ain't cooking fast enough. Well, have you got it on high? Uh-huh. High. And there we go. That's it. That's all you do. And now you just cover that and simmer it for a while until the rice puffs <coughs> all up like Johnson. <laughs> and when it gets approximately that large, it's ready. Mostly when it's tender. Now, I'm going to cover it to sort of bring it along a little more quickly because... This program doesn't last forever, although for a lot of people it does. And I'm going to cook that fairly, fairly fast. I can't open this jar. What's wrong? I'm having a heart. <laughs> Can you open this for me? <laughs> I can't open that jar. Come in, All right. I need to wipe it off. You've got it all wet. Oh. Well now I've got I've added my tomatoes to mine it will and take you have to cook root strength to do this. Okay. Oh there thank you, you, sir. Now in a little while I'm gonna need two pimentos chopped. He's he's just so wimpy sometimes. Have you noticed that? Well, I can't help it. Ever since I had my operation <laughs> I just can't get anything to go right. I tell you one thing, this Larry stuff better be rolling. So bad. <laughs> this what? stuff better get rolling fast or we could be eating. We've turned right. it off. Good. No, no, that's oh, that one. This is this one. Okay. It's on high. All right. It's well, now mine's, do. mine's go, now this has to be cooked down. These tomatoes have to give up the ghost. They cooked have, down or cooked up? Cooked down. And why, I'm going to chop up these pimentos. Oh, it's just a real pretty red on television. I'm going to start working on these plantains. Alright. All right. Good, Kevin. And this is going <laughs> real great here. Well, the one. You mean these things don't peel? <laughs> <laughs> See, I told him to do it, but I have I myself have never done it. He before. has has given me a recipe. And he has no idea how any of it works. Well, show him how to do it, Bly. Well, I'm not sure I'm doing it right. Well, well it wouldn't be the first time that we didn't do anything right on this show. Well, I can't get it to peel, so I'm just going to do it like okay, this. Okay, now I'm going to put my old clothes over here into my dish. Oh, that looks real tasty, Johnson. This stuff might get done. I don't know. It's amazing. I think and it needs a little salt. Put a little stock into it. Well, this might work too. We'll see. Oh, me. Now, I'm going to put in these two chopped pimentos. And, uh, oh, I've got such a mess. Well, these Ooh. are the most unusual things I've ever had my hands on. I'm going to stick them in there, and I'm just going to fry them lightly at a little, a little margarine or butter, depending on how your heart valves are and what you want to use. 
Johnson's had a little heart problem, I use pure butter. Hope to finish, <laughs> finish them off any day now. Now, Larry, in mine, I'm going to use a little bit of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon sprinkled on here. Oh, that's a little bit, all right. <laughs> and uh, the same thing with the cloves. They were a good singing group. Yes, <laughs> the were. cloves. Oh, this stuff is good. Listen to it. Oh, that's doing real it's good. It's just bubbling and carrying on. Well, mine's beginning to cook up. It's not supposed to bubble and carry on. It's supposed to go real slowly. But on this program, we have to speed things up. Now, look at this. This is just doing famously. Oh, they'll be good eating this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, get the dishes out, our new dishes? No, but I... <laughs> Do we need them? Well, I think we got to eat out of something. Well, I thought we had two left over from the last uh, affair here. No, we're down to one and a half. <laughs> Don't let anybody see. <laughs> How Excuse embarrassing. Me. Well, yes, this is, one is of so the, mortifying. This is a casual dinnerware, it's called. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's opening up the brand new dishes. This is We're definitely low-grade stuff. There's no two ways. You don't know that. where those dishes oh, have look, been either. On the bottom of it, it says "made in a hurry." <laughs> anyway, get those out. Well, they look clean. I think I ought to wipe them off. You never know who's been messing with them to get them to the store. But this stuff's about to jump out of here. It's going so fast. <laughs> will that rice will get done for sure? Oh, it ought to get done, all right. No doubt about it. I'm going to cut that back a little before we bubble out of here. You know what? What? I think we ought to uh, put these recipes up on the screen oh, everybody yes. look at them. <laughs> we have forgotten to tell the folks. Let's do that. There it is. All right. The Ropa Viejas. Uh -huh. uh, you need uh, two and a half pounds of flank steak cooked in a sliced carrot, a turnip, and a small bunch of green onions. And a partridge in a pear tree. Then you need two tablespoons full of oil, a finely chopped onion, and chopped uh, clove of garlic, uh, one green pepper, a fresh hot pepper, two large tomatoes peeled and chopped, a bay leaf, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, and two canned pimentos diced. That's the ropas vieja. And the, oh, there it is, the Moros de Cristianos. You need the oil, the uh, onion, finely chopped, uh, clove of garlic, a uh, small green pepper, finely chopped, uh, two medium tomatoes peeled, seeded, and chopped up, uh, salt and pepper, two cups of cooked black beans, some raw rice to stick in there, and a little bit of water. And that's it. And where is our lovely secretary, Miss Witch? We're She's going to over here her. somewhere. Because, uh, I'm trying to find I think the silverware. She has a postcard for us. Oops, there Good she comes. Heavens. She's flying oh. low today. Thank you. Bye, witch. Dear boys, yeah. where's this one from? Fidel let us go. <laughs> Seems he got tired of us. El Senor Fickle. <laughs> anyway, we are now in Mexico. Yeah. Tootsie got us in trouble the other day when she asked a gentleman if that was a head in his sombrero or was he just glad to see us? <laughs> <laughs> she never had a Mexican smack before. <laughs> Here are a couple of Mexican dishes for you. Hot tamales and Mexicali rice. <laughs> well, that's what we'll be doing next week. Oh, my gracious. Now, now well, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think this stuff is done, and we're finished here. That's for oh, sure. Oh, goodness gracious. We may be done for good. Well, I'm going to well, take out a little bit of it, and we'll just we'll well, go through the mystery. Well, this is mine ready here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, let's dish it out here. Oh, <laughs> oh it looks real good, Johnson. <laughs> you dog. It just looks wonderful. I'm not going to put these on these, whatever you call these things, plantains, because they're not done yet. They're as hard as bricks, but they are starting to get there. As you can see, they get nice and golden, beautiful and gorgeous. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh. I thought well, we'd never get here. And well, it sure is runny. I'll say that. I know I'm I gonna hope burn that rice. my mouth into next week. On I, this. Not only that, but I think you're probably going to break your teeth on that rice. <laughs> is it done? Mm -hmm. Is it really? Well, is it marvelous? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, let me just get a string of beef out of here. <laughs> this is the biggest mess I've ever seen. But probably a good mess. But it's fork tender. 
You oh, can, is it? Yeah, look, you can cut it with your fork. Mmm. Totally tasteless. Has no flavor whatsoever. You always say that. Your mouth has been ruined. <laughs> don't you feel that hot pepper in there? I swear, I, I don't taste anything. Good grief, my mouth is burning already. It's on fire. No, nope, it's starting to come in. Mm -hmm. well, it's going to hit you upside the head in a minute. Big time. Well, that's about it. We got to get out of here. Whew. Mm -hmm. I'm about to die from the heat. You all be good and come back again next week. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.